Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Express LRS Arming Edition. And when I say this is going to be Express LRS Arming, it's specifically about Express LRS Arming with Artipilot. I don't know if these ideas might work or are even applicable to other uh, flight controllers. So what I have here is my uh, PC ground station screen, my fancy new Zen book with touch screen, which is working just awesome. And I've um, focused down here on the Radio Master TX16S with built in Express LRS, which I've just finished setting up for this plane here, uh, Watchhawk, which is really my, it's, there's nothing special, it's a foamy, but the point is that it's got a, a basic uh, Arty Pilot setup running on a Zealot H743 flight controller running fairly standard plane set up for a plane so it's great for testing things and it has an Express LRS receiver in it. So what I'll do first is I will just uh, turn it on. Telemetry recovered. All right so we have telemetry and this is sort of jumping ahead but an important part of getting this to work which is that I am using GPS 3D fix rock Fly Yahoo wire telemetry a Lewis script that runs on your transmitter that reads telemetry from the GPS flight controller and gives you a complete status display on your screen and as you can see here um, it, it gives you a HUD um, so it you know, it tilts with the plane. It tells you which flight mode you're in. Reuter flight mode. So it's getting all of that information from the flight controller. It's got Fly GPS location here. Mode. And when it's flying, it'll give you airspeed and all that kind of stuff without having to have a ground station computer at all. So it's, it's pretty amazing and uh, really pretty awesome. Uh, I'll put a link probably in the description. I can find a video that I like. I'll put that up here and uh, go check it out. Now, back to the, the basic setup of the screen here. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll just take a screenshot of that. And let's go. All right, so let's go have a look at the outputs that I've got set up on my flight controller because here's the thing with Express LRS. Express LRS says put your arm switch on AUGS1 and set it that 1000 is disarmed and 2000 is armed. And so when I first did that, um, set up my Express LRS, I set up a switch on my, uh, my old TX16S with armed and disarmed. And then I found that, for example, when you use uh, Arty Pilot, well, you can arm with the sticks. So if you go to attempt to arm. Motors armed. Armed. Guess what? I just armed that plane and I didn't flip a switch. So how does Express LRS know that I'm armed if I use the stick? To arm it, or alternatively, we can do this. All right. So on my ground station, I'm running Q ground control for the purpose of the demonstration. I can go and arm, and if I select to arm the vehicle, armed. Motors armed. It's armed but I didn't flip a switch. And Express LRS doesn't know that the vehicle is armed. And let's flip back to that website again and have a look at that Express LRS website about the arming stuff. Okay, here we go. It's for safety. Orgs one is sent with every packet going out so the vehicle, so that you always get arming. When armed is enabled, these safeguards are applied. All the button inputs are disabled. That means, for example, if you've got a, a transmitter with um, buttons on the back, uh, like um, my Namimno 
OLED 2400 that I have in my other transmitter has some buttons and there could be a, bu a bind button on the receiver. Buttons are disabled. The joystick on the controller um, on that module that I mentioned, well that can be disabled. Um, bump to share is disabled. VTX admin is disabled so you can't go and do unfortunate things with your video transmitter by accident uh, while you're actually flying and uh, the integrated VTX channel change is disabled too so you can't accidentally change the channel on your video transmitter while you're flying FPV it, um, it disables all those things so there are there's some good reasons why Express LRS wants to have a disarm that actually it understands and disables certain functions for safety purposes what's unfortunate is a that it forces you to use channel 5 for it and uh, it's not configurable and that it relies on there being a switch on the transmitter when well guess what um it might not be a switch you can arm in other ways and so here's what i've done what i've done is using yapu telemetry i'm going to disarm now motors disarm what i've done is i've set this up so that i have and you can see it here on channel 5, I have a, a channel called ARM LRS. And ARM LRS isn't connected to any switch on my radio at all. It is connected to only to telemetry. And that's why the Yapu telemetry is important. So if Yapu telemetry says the flight control is armed, then this switch here will go to 100% and therefore Express LRS will know that it's armed. Now to avoid a fit for your feedback loop on RD Pilot, I'll show you this here. Okay, RC5 option. RC5 is do nothing. RD Pilot ignores channel five. So channel five is sent for arming actually from the flight controller, which is the, mark, the, the system of record. System of record, the, the, the flight controller knows if you're armed or not, the transmitter doesn't know if you're armed because it can request an arm. You saw it failed the first time around. So if you go to attempt to arm, and that will not arm because the hardware safety switch is set. Hardware safety switch wasn't, wasn't set. And so even though I did arm, it didn't arm. And if I had used the switch, the same thing would happen. The transmitter would think you're armed. The flight controller would know you're actually not armed. So what we do now is we have the flight controller send, are we armed back here? And now, if I, for example, if I arm with my stick, Motor's armed. Did you see that? The arms channel went high. It knows because stick arming arms the flight controller. The flight controller tells the transmitter and the same thing happens with disarm. So I can disarm here. Motors disarmed. And look, channel five went low. Now let's do it on the computer. Arms. Channel five went high. So Express LRS knows we are armed no matter how it's armed. And, well, let's disarm on the computer now. And there we go. Channel five's gone low. We disarmed on the computer. Let's do the last one, which I actually have a switch set up here. Now I've got this set up as a, as a protection switch. So I, nothing happens if I flip the arm switch, but if I flip the arm switch and pull the throttle cut, now we're armed, and channel 5 goes high, so I can disarm other ways. Motors disarmed. And now my arm LRS has gone low. So now I'm going to show you how I did that. All we need is two logical switches. I've set these up on 13 and 14 because I started doing some other stuff first. But these are the two switches you need. One is it uses arm, which is comes from telemetry. 
So in order for that to be available and for you to be able to even select ARM in that dropdown, you have to have Yapu telemetry installed, you have to be connected to your vehicle, and it has to be sending telemetry. So you have to have your Express LRS set up right with your Hertz and your rates and all those kinds of things. So you're actually getting telemetry. Once you're getting telemetry, you get telemetry options and ARM is one of them. So I basically have set up here, very simple, L13 is ARM is zero and L14 is ARM is 100. So if the flight controller says it's armed, L14 will be set. And if the flight controller says it's not armed, L13 will be set. So what do we do with that? Well, what we do is we go into our special functions over here and we use, I've got really, it's just simply two special functions. Special function four is override ARM LRS, which is my channel five, uh, channel five, and S it and says set it to minus 100 because minus 100 is low on a on a switch. So really, we've got to translate from the zero and 100 that comes in from the flight controller and send back minus 100, 100 on channel five, and that's that's pretty much it. Channel four, or oh, special function four says if. If we're not armed, send minus 100 on channel 5. And if we are armed, send plus 100 on channel 5. Now you notice I've got, it's, it's set to arm LRS here. Well, that's because what I've done in my, uh, my outputs is I've given that channel a name and I called channel 5 arm LRS. So that when I come over here and when we look at the main screen here, we actually have, you know, roll pitch your throttle and then channel five shows as I'm LRS on the screen here. And that's because I mapped that, gave it a name on the output screen. So um, now what I also have, and if you notice here, I have this switch here, which is my channel, my uh, arming switch. And that is set to arm. Out. If Mine I do arm. flip the switch, and kick the momentary switch at the same time. And if I go down, kick the switch, it's a throttle cut. So it's a function in RD Pilot for throttle cut and arm. And if I go disarm, motor is disarmed. There you go. So that's it. Tim the plane, Dad, over and out.